Hey everyone. Digital Factory has several ways to create multiples of a design. In this video, we'll explain how to use the step and repeat copy groups for textiles and wallpapers. Page copies, simple copy groups, duplicates, and template copies with the same slot number are explained in the video, Different Methods of Making Copies, found on our YouTube channel. In the first example, we want to create and print a wallpaper using this design in step and repeat. The goal will be to align the copies next to each other without any gap in between the copies. First, import the job into the queue, then select the job and click on the Copies button in the Status panel on the lower right. The panel changes to the Copy Group settings and by default a copy is added in the preview. Click on the Copies button in the Status panel again and the Step and Repeat dialog opens. The dialog has a preview window and in the area below the preview you can define one of five pattern styles of Step and Repeat. You can define the number of columns and rows you need, and on the right, you can define the X and Y spacing of the copies, by either distance or percentage of image. You can also save your settings or load previously saved settings. Once you have completed your setup, click Apply to assign the settings to the step and repeat. For this job, the pattern style is set to straight copies. The area fill box is ticked, length is set to 79 inches, and width is set to 39 inches. Total copies is set at 50, with no X and Y spacing. Ensure the Generate Partial Items box is ticked. Click Apply. Now, in your queue, the job is a copy group 79 inches by 39 inches. The first row in the copy group is ripped, and then ripped data is placed in the next row using the previously set spacing values. This is repeated until the area previously set is filled. This process results in greatly reduced ripping times. For a better view of the rip file, Right click on the job and select RIP ONLY. Once ripped, right click on the job again and select VIEW RAW DATA. Click the VIEW ALL COLORS AS BLACK icon found on the top right. When viewing the results, you can see all copies fit seamlessly. No white lines or line interference can be seen. Be aware that some design packages create a little white space around designs when files are saved as PDF or EPS formats. You want to make sure this is not the case. If there is a white line around the design, you could use the Tiles button on the Job tab in the Status panel and crop the design before performing the step and repeat. To do this, select the job in the queue and click on the Tiles button in the Status panel on the lower right. The Tiling Setup dialog will open, showing the graphic for the job and a marquee around its perimeter. Zoom into the image and you'll see the dashed line which you'll use to crop the image. To remove the white line that you see around the graphic, use your mouse to resize the marquee. This will represent the new edge of the graphic. Make sure the white outer line that was originally around the graphic is outside the new marquee position on all sides. Once you have finished repositioning the marquee, click on the Create button. The preview of the job will be updated with the white line removed. Now when you use this graphic for step and repeat, there will no longer be a line around each copy. For the next example, this ornament and its copies will be positioned next to each other, and the next row below will be shifted to the right with the third row being shifted to the left, and so on. This will create a nice pattern with the rows blending well into each other. With the ornament imported into the queue, select the job and click on the Copies button on the Status panel to the lower right. Click the Copies button again to open the Step and Repeat dialog. First, set the pattern style. Select the third option, which is Alternate Row Offset. Use a ratio of 1 to 2, which shifts each new row to the right or left a distance equal to half the width of the graphic, creating the staggered effect which results in a seamless pattern. Set a spacing of 0.6 inches for X and a spacing of 0.6 inches for Y. And lastly, set the columns to 6 and rows to 4. Click Apply. You can see in the preview that the copies have now been set with step and repeat and the job is ready for printing. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering all of Catling's products. Thank you.